This brings us to the Canadian question of the day, eh? If the north pole of a compass needle is attracted to a south pole of a magnet, why does it point towards Canada, which is magnetic north? Huh? What side of the magnet you put the arrow on? Actually, it turns out that uh, any bar magnet that I have with an N on it is going to attract the south pole. The, the part that points towards Mexico. In other words, if I were to take a bar magnet that had an N and a S on it, you know, the red part being usually red, and I were to hang it from a string so that it could pivot, the N part is going to point towards Canada. Okay? But you're right, the problem is calling these things north and south. <clears throat> We should have called them red and blue, or A and B. Then there would be no confusion. But because we called the North Seeking Pole the North Pole, what we have in Canada must be a South Pole, because the North Seeking Pole is attracted to it. If we think of the Earth's magnetic field, we find exactly the same field as if there were a giant bar magnet right through the earth with the north magnetic pole down here where the penguins live and the south magnetic pole up there in Canada a little closer to uh, uh, the Hudson Bay. Okay? Now, these field lines come out of the north, wrap around and go into the south. Now you'll notice that uh, we don't live very far from Canada, eh? <laughs> okay? And that's why the field lines here point down about 70 degrees. Okay? Now, here's an interesting tidbit of fact. The magnetic north, which is actually the location of the south pole of the Earth's magnet, is in the Hudson Bay. It's about 1,300 kilometers from geographic north, and it's moved about 700 kilometers since uh, 1904. Uh, that great scientist, Lauren Acton, the astronaut that I told you about, uh, he's an expert on this field. I asked him about this, and he said, yes, the poles are actually in the process of flipping. That uh, every 200,000 years, they actually uh, flip and change places. And I believe him, he's been around for most of that time. Uh, and this process of flipping takes about 2,000 years to accomplish, to, to get things rotated around. Okay? So here's the location of the magnetic north, really a south pole, in 1904. And then uh, you can guess when this picture was made, 1984. It's old. That's even older. Well, no, it's not, but it sure looks primitive. Okay. So right now it's moving towards geographic north, but it's still far away away. Now the fact that these two are not the same location, magnetic north and geographic north, uh, provides a complication when you're hiking. Uh, your compass that tells you which way to go is pointing towards Hudson Bay. But your map that you're trying to follow is always oriented towards geographic north, where Santa Claus lives. And those two places are not in the same location. Now, if you're lucky enough to live along this red line, say in Chicago, when you look at Hudson Bay or towards Hudson Bay, you're also looking towards Santa Claus's workshop. And so for those people, uh, magnetic north and true north are in the same direction by coincidence. But over here in Montana, when we look at Hudson Bay in Canada, we're looking a very different direction than we, when we look towards the North Pole. And so for us, there's going to be a difference between what is called magnetic north and true north. And that declination, I uh, Online it says it's 12 degrees, but I've 
been taught in Boy Scouts that it's closer to 16 degrees, so I'm not sure what the truth is anymore. Does anyone know what it is in Bozeman? Is it maybe because the pole is moving? What's that? Maybe because the pole is moving? Is that a while ago? Oh, uh, you're bringing my age into account. <laughs> yeah, yeah that's, that seems unfair. 